Healthy Living with Chris Scott. Welcome back. And what today's video is going to be about is sacrificing the present for the future. And we're going to do it right now. Okay, so today we're going to talk about sacrifice the present for the future. And what I mean by that is not necessarily giving up everything in your life, but to give up something in order to obtain something that you really want to have down the road. That's what it means. And the reason why is time is so precious. And you really, you only have so much and nobody knows how much they have. We don't know how long we're going to be down here. So we really don't know how much we have. So we don't want to waste any of it. What this video is about and what I found in my life is sometimes I had to give up stuff that wasn't growing me just so that I could be rewarded later in doing something that would reward me. But I would have to have the patience to wait until that came about. So just an example, I used to have a corporate job, I was making six figures and I got a great paycheck every two weeks. But I wanted to do something different, I wanted to own my own business, I wanted to make it successful and so I gave up that paycheck and I also gave up a good part of my life, especially for the first few years in that store and I had it for 13 years and I ended up making it a very successful multi-million dollar store so I got my reward out of it and I had a great time and I learned an awful lot because I had to learn all about how to run a business but I would never have obtained that knowledge and that experience if I didn't give up something in the, in the beginning so in the beginning I gave up a lot of fun I gave up going out you know because I didn't have the money to go out I gave out gave up and I didn't have the time to tell you the truth so I gave up just, just going on vacation because I had to put all the time into building the store up the first few years and then slowly I was able to get staffed up to the point where I was able to get back to a, a normal life but that was the reward I was able to get a reward down the road by doing that so that's one of the examples out there what are your goals you know do you want to lose weight do you want to uh, start your own business do you want to write that novel and finally get it published do you want to win a bodybuilding contest? You know, do you want to create a YouTube channel with a million subs? That's what I would like to do, and that's what I'm working on now, so we'll see what happens. But you have to ask yourself, and that's what I had to ask myself, you know, what am I willing to give up to achieve that goal? And so after I sold my running store, uh, I, I really could just retire. But I don't want to do that. I want to have a future goal down the road. So I could be sitting at the beach right now. I live in it's Southern California. I could be at the beach right now and I could actually see the beach from my window over there. But the reality is I want to make it successful. So I have to sacrifice something now in order to get that down the road. Right now I only have like 4,700 subscribers. And that's not a lot in the YouTube world if you want to make it in the YouTube world. So. I'm here making videos and don't get me wrong I love making these videos I really love making these videos they're just so much they're, they're a blast for me so I love doing it but I am giving up something in order to work it also I'm giving up any kind of income in the beginning I, I make very little right now I do make some because I am monetized but I make very very little but I'm okay with that I'm okay with sacrificing the present for the future so I am working towards a goal down the road which I hope I will end up eventually with a million subscribers and enough making enough on it so that I, I'm gonna be fine that's what I, I'm willing to give up stuff you know and so you have to ask yourself if you have a goal what are you willing to give up like so are you are you willing to give up going out drinking every night you know, and or a few times a week are you willing to give that up in order to build your side business up if that's what it is or if you're a bodybuilder or if you are uh, well if you're a bodybuilder you're probably not drinking a whole lot anyway but you know if you want to lose weight it, are you willing to give up that drink in order to lose that pound or you know 
uh, are you willing to give up binge watching TV in order to instead read a self-improvement book that's going to help you get to your goal or to write, start writing that book instead of binge watching TV? Are you willing to give up that cupcake that just has your name on it? You know that one's yours. It's sitting right there on that tray at that party and it's just calling you, right? But you have to ask yourself, is, it, is that cupcake more important to me than a future benefit down the road, which is losing 50 pounds maybe? You have to ask yourself that question. And that's what I mean by sacrificing the present for the future. It's not easy. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say it's easy. It's not easy for anybody. It's not easy for me. It's not easy for anybody. But you have to be able to, to sacrifice in order to get what you want out of life. What I would suggest, if you want to do this, you know, sacrificing the present for the future, future goal, is to set your goals. That's the first, that's the first start, is to set your goals. And when I say that, what a lot of people do is they say, okay, well, next week I'll set my goals, or maybe, you know, tomorrow I'll set my goals, and then tomorrow they say, tomorrow I'll set my goals, and then tomorrow never comes, right? When I say set your goals, I mean to start now. I mean today. If you want to do this, you need to start today. You start your goals today. Write them down. Get, list them in priority order. And start working towards those goals. And whatever you do, don't quit. Because <laughs> that's where I think most people fail, is because they quit too soon. And what you don't want to do is you don't want to quit too soon because you don't want to sit back and say, God, what if I didn't quit? Or I know somebody who started with me. We start the same journey with me. They started the YouTube channel. I started this YouTube channel at the same time. We both had the same amount of subscribers at one point, and then I just quit because I just couldn't take it anymore. And a, two years from now, that person's got a million subscribers, loving life, and I don't have anything because I gave up. And if I would have just kept going, I probably would have been there as well. So that's the one thing about it is you don't want to give up on your goals. You just got to go after him, after him, after him, and have the patience. Um, if you do what you love, too, if you actually love what you're gonna do, so you set a goal that you love, then it doesn't feel like you're really giving up anything. So I love to write, too. I love to write novels, and if I'm sitting there writing, instead of going out, I, I, I'm, I'm happy, I'm content, you know? And, and if, you, if any writers are, are watching this video, they know that it is so much fun to sit and write. And so, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm giving up anything, but I am giving up something. You know, I'm not necessarily going to the bars or whatever, but I'm at home writing and I'm having a blast. And what you need to do is you have to make sure you believe in yourself. So many people, they just don't believe in yourself and they just, they just, you know, they just don't believe they can do it. They don't believe they're good enough or, but, but we're all good enough. We all can do it. We just... The difference between someone who's successful and someone who's not successful is that they just do it. They just keep going at it, they keep plugging at it, and eventually they get there. There's, there's so many, like let's take a novelist, there's so many novelists out there who have been rejected time and time and time and time again. But then, they only needed one to say yes, and then once they got that one out, they were able to get more out because because they, they push through it. And that's what you need to do. One way to do it is to surround yourself with those people who are like-minded. Because if you, if you hang out with a group of people and they are going to get in the way of your goal, then that's not gonna help you. So for instance, if you're trying to run a marathon, let's say, and you, you practice, you know, you're going to take a training course to, 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 or let's say you just do it on your own. You're going to run a marathon, you're training to run a marathon, and the people around you, maybe at the office or your friends or in your family are going to say, hey look, why are you doing that? Why don't you sit here and have a cupcake instead and drink this beer? And you're like, no, I have a 15 mile run in the morning tomorrow. I can't do that. And they're going to say, well, just, just don't do it. You know, you don't have to do that. Have the drink, you know, just have some fun. Why are you doing this marathon thing in the first place? If you surround yourself with people like that, that don't support your, you and your goals, then you're not gonna make it, or it's gonna be very difficult. So, surround yourself with those that are like-minded. So, let's take the same scenario. Let's say you want to run a marathon. You join a marathon program with a bunch of people in it. I mean, you actually go there, you show up, you, 
it might be tough in the pandemic world, but you do the best you can. And you show up and you talk to them and they're going to help you get through it. They're going to help you get through that marathon because they're going to be there for you. They're going to be like-minded because they're going to share your goals. So make sure that you surround yourself with people who are going to share your goals and just keep going. Now, the other thing I wanted to say, which is very important, is some goals take a long time. So you have to have patience. And what most people don't have is they just don't have patience and that's why they quit. They're like, you know what? I'm done because I feel like I've done enough of this and I'm done. I spent a year on my YouTube channel and it's not going anywhere, so I'm giving up. And little do they know that the best YouTube channel people out there, typically, on average, they've been out there for four or five years before their channel really takes off. You have to have patience and I'm trying to have patience. It's tough. I, I admit, I'll be the first to admit it's tough because you know, you look at your numbers every day and you're like, how come they're not moving? But if you have the patience to know, I mean, to just relax and get through it and just keep plugging away day after day after day and don't think about the numbers, but just think about plugging away day after day after day, then you will get there. And that, that's any goal. So if it's weight loss or whatever, you'll get there. Don't worry, don't weigh yourself every day. Weigh yourself once a week. But if you weigh yourself every day, it's probably gonna probably not going to be happy because weight does fluctuate but if you weigh yourself every week and you're good and you are doing what you need to do and you're following up let's say if you're following a program you're following that program correctly you'll get there but you just have to have patience you're not going to get there overnight it's just not going to happen you didn't get you didn't put on those 50 pounds overnight you're not going to take them off overnight so just know that and just have positive thinking you got to remove the negativity and you got to remove the doubt out there so and don't listen to people who keep bringing up the negative comments and say look why are you doing this just give up don't listen to any of that you know just get that out of your mind and move forward you know what your goal is you go after your goal and remember you only live once so make that life count you don't want to have any regrets at the end that's all I really had to say today. If you have any goals that you would like to share, a lot of times sharing a goal on social media puts it out there and lets the whole universe, the whole world know that that's what your goal is. And you're probably, if you do that, you're probably more likely to achieve your goal because you're more likely to go after it if you're held accountable. So if you put it out there, you're more held accountable. It's, it's, it, it helps out. What I would ask everyone to do if they can, because I would love to see them too, is what are your goals? Pop them down in the comments below and what are you doing to achieve them and are you starting today? That's what I would love to see. So if you can, pop that in the comments below. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. That really supports my channel and helps me out. And I would appreciate that. It also helps YouTube push my video out into the world so everyone else can see it too and get the same tips. And also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and that way you'll be notified every time I drop a healthy living video. I drop them on every Thursday and every Sunday and just that way you'll get them and they're all about healthy living. Also, share it with anybody you know who can use a video, videos like this that are healthy living videos. So make sure that you share it with them. And for more tips on how to live a happier, healthier, longer life, make sure that you, uh, you know, two videos are gonna pop up on this screen and make sure you click on one of those and you can continue your healthy living journey. And that's all I had to say today, so I will see you next time.